What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. Today I have very good news for those of you waiting for Torin on iOS 15. Finally, we have some updates from Coolstar and the Odyssey team. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM on your device, and even remove the iTunes backup encryption if you forgot your password. Definitely check it out in the link below, there's a free trial available. So, Torin Jailbreak, currently working on 14.0 to 14.3, is about to receive an update for iOS 15. Now, it's been in the works for a while, but thanks to some developments, particularly this, the release of Linus Hensey's Core Trust and Driver Kit bugs and this proof of concept here by this developer, the ODC team behind the Torin have been able to do some nice progress in the background. A couple of hours ago, Coolstar, the lead developer of Torin, posted this, quote, iPhone 10 iOS 15.1 via Torin 15. And if you open the photo, they basically managed to get uh, what appears to be Netcat and they connected to the device and they were able to execute some commands over here, including the uname-a, which basically spits out the iOS version and so on. So that's actually quite nice, but we also have more information about the current status. They posted on their Discord, on the Celio Discord, at everyone, iOS 15.0 to 15.1.1 status update. For A8 through A9 devices, we've switched over to multicast byte copy, which is an exploit, so it's possible these devices may not be supported in the initial release. So it may take a while for those to be supported. For A10, this should work but the exploit just doesn't work at the moment for some reason. The 8 and devices are basically the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the latest iPod Touch and so on. For A11 devices, almost have a working shell, though there are some precursors issues that need sorting out. For A12 and A15, some bugs that need to be worked out regarding tweak injection, though we have a few shell commands working and of course the precursors issues need sorting as well. So they're slowly making progress towards getting the jailbreak to work. Now you should remember iOS 15 is particularly hard to jailbreak because a lot of things have changed in terms of the iOS security. So once this jailbreak gets released, it's going to be a breakthrough. This will basically be the very first iOS 15 jailbreak to be released and I can't wait for it. So I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I know some of you only want jailbreak releases. I'm afraid I can't make only videos about jailbreak releases. Here on this channel, I cover everything from the smallest to the biggest news. So thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.